Hello and welcome to another M19 draft here on the channel. Today we are going to be doing a competitive draft. Uh, and this is, uh, yeah, my eighth draft video for the channel. And uh, before I begin, I would just like to remind you that if you enjoy the video, be sure to click that thumbs up and subscribe to get updates for whenever I post new content. But uh, without further ado, let's get into the draft. Okie doke. So Chaos Wand is a very slow card. I don't like to main deck it. I think it's a good sideboard card against certain decks. Uh, these uncommons are pretty lackluster. Surge Mare is fine as a defensive option, but it's not insane because you don't really get to attack with it till the late game anyway. Uh, Aven Windmage is fine. Bogger Brood is fine. I might just take Sky Scanner because it's the most flexible and it'll make my deck pretty much no matter what. It's a pretty low power level card though. Um, I don't think any of these cards are particularly high power level. This is actually kind of a tricky pick for me because um, none of these cards are great. Aven Windmage could be the correct pick, but I think I'm just going to take Sky Scanner. Leaves me open. And pretty much immediately rewarded, I think I'm going to take the Psy to go with the Sky Scanner. Um, Psy is a pretty powerful card if you can build around it and get some artifacts. So I think it's probably worth going for here. Blanchwood Armor is only really good if you're like 10 or 11 Forest. Sift is fine. Um, I do like Psy quite a bit. Um, you can, like, you can probably, like, probably get like 5 artifacts in your deck. He's pretty great. Um, Art Angel of Dawn is a card I do like as well, as well as Star Crown Stag. So maybe I should be taking one of those. Um, I would probably take Angel over the Star Crown Stag. I have the, the Star Current Strike doesn't really go with Sky Scanner, though. It's not really a beatdown card. I think I'm going to take the Psy. Ooh, Skilled Animator is a great card if I'm building this artifact deck. And uh, it's another great payoff. And I think I could, at this point, just jump in, like take all the artifacts, like explosive apparatuses and stuff like that, and get paid off. I do like Psychic Symbiont, but if I do play this artifact deck, I think I would rather end up in, like, Blue white because white has some artifact payoffs like ether, something. It's the dwarf that gives plus two plus two to artifact creatures. I think I'm gonna take the skilled animator here and kind of try to go deep. Okay, not a ton of great stuff for me here. Um, Vampire neonate is a good card. Um, maybe I've seen blue black, but I just did pass a psychic symbiont. I do just want to take artifact. I don't want rust wing falcon. You could take Titanic Growth. I think it's probably the best card in the pack. I think it's between that and Vampire Neonate, but I don't really want the Neonate here. So I like the Titanic Growth. I think this deck is kind of setting up nicely. I just need to get a couple Aviation Pioneers and it's off to the races. Though those aren't as good with Psy, you can still sacrifice them to draw cards. Um, explosive Apparatus would be nice. Ooh. Oh, man. This is tough. I really like Essence Scatter, but Diamond Mare works great with Skilled Animator and with Psy. I think I'm going to take the Diamond Mare, actually. It's just a great artifact. I do like Essence Scatter, though. The thing is with Essence Scatter is, um, like, Diamond Mare is, like, another, makes both of these cards better. Essence Scatter is just a good standalone card. And Diamond Mare is also, like, perfectly serviceable on its own. I do end up with a more of a controlling tilt to this deck. Um, I think this deck is pretty good right now. I'm liking it. It also looks pretty fun to play. Which is important. Supreme Phantom's a nice one. Just a two mana one three flyer is already pretty good. Uh, there is a Marauder's Axe, but I don't really want to run like five of those. I probably would. I'm probably going to run one, maybe two. But I only really I only have two payoffs. I don't need to like go incredibly deep. But Supreme Phantom's a nice card. Two mana one three. It actually carries a Marauder's Axe quite well. There was that one pack that had two Marauder's Axes, so I might get one of those back. There's always like the next couple packs as well. So right now I'm mono blue, but I could be green. I do have a titanic growth. It would be nice to find my way into white. Aviation Pioneer is my, the card I want the most out of any of the cards in the set, pretty much. 
it's so good with skilled animator. It's great in an artifact deck. Not as good with Psy because it's not an artifact spell, but I already have two artifact spells. I can probably get several more. Aviation Pioneer is perfect. Easy pick here. I wonder who's in the draft queue with me. I'm just seeing if there's any pros. GP Jedi. Nope. Ooh, another Aviation Pioneer. Perfect. Take Vengeance is a pretty fine card, but I try to want, I want kind of want, and I do kind of want to play Blue White, but Aviation Pioneer is really good with Skilled Animator. There is a Gargoyle Sentinel. Maybe I'm supposed to take that. It's an artifact for Psy. I just think Aviation Pioneer is so good in general. Hmm. Maybe Gargoyle Sentinel is just better though. I don't need all that many cards that work with Skilled Animator. Psy is like giving me Thopters is pretty nice. I think I'll take the Gargoyle Sentinel. It's close between these two, but Gargoyle, ooh, and now Scholar of Stars, a nice little payoff for the deck that I'm in. So let's just act as if I'm mono-colored right now. Now I can take a Greenwood Sentinel, in case I do end up green, 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 blue. I have three artifacts here. Explosive Apparatus is a nice one. I could take a trusty Pack Beast, but Explosive Apparatus seems like a fine one to get. Just more artifacts. Take a walking corpse. I did get a trusty pack beast anyway, which is nice. Explosive apparatus is also a nice card with the trusty pack beast. So I could end up blue white. I have four artifacts after pack one. I'm glad I have the gargoyle sentinel. I think it's gonna be nice. Just three mana, three three is a big body. Tough to get through. Aviation Pioneer is not a, an incredible blocker. It just comes with some good artifact synergies. <sighs> this deck looks really fun. I'm looking forward to playing with it. And then Scholar of the Stars looks incredible with five artifacts already. This card's pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. If I have like, a, like expendable, like Thopter lying around, I could take it here. Um, the other option is, I mean, this card's just very strong. Leonin Vanguard's not great. Uh, Vampire Sovereign's nice, but I think the Demon of Catastrophes is a little bit better. It's just because it's so huge. Disperse is a little bit of interaction. Omen Speaker is fine. I think when the card level is this different, I'm just going to hedge on the black card. Sun Star Crown Stag is fine. I'm not going to take Omen Speaker over a Demon when I don't really know a second have a second color. Exclusionary Mage is awesome. I think it's better than Aviation Pioneer by a wide enough margin that I'd rather have it. Even though I do like Aviation Pioneer in Artifact decks. Fountain of Renewal is another good one. Yeah, I'm going to take the Exclusion Mage. It's just a great card, I think. And it also gives me some nice interaction when I don't have a ton of it already. I do like Aviation Pioneer, but I'm not gonna just blind myself and just only pick like synergy cards. Millstone's not the type of synergy card I want. Field Creeper could make it into the deck though. Uh, two drop artifact creatures are really good with Skilled Animator. I don't really have any good abilities to go with the uh, Abnormal Endurance. I think I'm gonna take the Field Creeper. It's not unplayably bad, and uh, it is an artifact for some synergy. Anticipate's fine. Mantle is not really what I want. I could take Frilled Sea Serpent. It's just a big finisher. I kind of like that plan. I do have a bunch of cheap stuff right now. Anticipate's fine, but not insane. Trusty Pack Beast will probably wheel, and I might not be even be in the white. I love Gearsmith Guardian in this deck. I don't really need an Omen Speaker. Omen Speaker's a bit slow. Gearsmith Guardian's perfect, though. 
I have all these blue cards. I have a lot of artifact synergies. What do I get here? Ooh, I got a Scholar of the Stars. Perfect. Another 4 mana, four mana 3 2 draw card is good, and I'm trying to enable that as consistently as possible, which I think I'm doing a good job of. I'm going to be naming blue with Diamond Mare every single game. Hmm. Another Serpent. I don't really want Ether Tunnel. Could take Vampire Neonate. I'll take the Neonate in case I play black. I'm choosing between black and white, I think. It all depends on like kind of what I get with pack three because I do have this demon right now. This is my deck. The demon and the neonate probably making it in. Walking corpse probably not. And then trusty pack beast is a card that I would kind of like to run if I was playing white because I do have five art six artifacts to get back with it. So it's going to be like a three man two three draw card a lot of the time, which is kind of nice value. Another skilled animator would be nice. I would definitely be happy to get one. Sky Scanner is a great pickup. Phenomenal card for my deck. Do I want Field Creeper over Omen Speaker is the question. Maybe. Omen Speaker sets up my draws, but Field Creeper is an artifact. I think I'll take the Field Creeper. I have two Scholars of the Stars, a Skilled Animator, and a Psy that all care about artifacts. I have a whole pack to get the payoffs, because I'm the only one in this archetype, probably, because I've just been taking every single card for it. And then if I do transition into white, I could get the guy that makes them plus two, plus two indestructible. Whoa, Aviation Pioneer came back. I'm going to take it over Fountain of Renewal pretty easily here. Aviation Pioneer is great in this type of deck. I do have a ton of three drops, but I don't really care all that much. Gearsmith Prodigy could be a nice card if I become a bit more aggro. Or I could take Totally Lost for a little bit of interaction. Uh, I have so many artifacts. This guy's always going to be on, pretty much. Do I want a 1-mana 2-2, two, two, though? Probably not. My guy's a little bit more defensive. I'll take Totally Lost. I need some interaction. The, the Aviation Pioneer is also great with the Demon. It's a good card to sacrifice to it. Diamond Mary would be a good card to pick up, just gains me a ton of life. I really want another skilled animator. Like Rex Age. Rex Age would be good against my deck, so I mean hate drafting is you is like pretty bad, but I mean, you never know. This deck is sweet. Infectious Horror is not great. Gearsmith Cup Prodigy is playable. Okay, big open. Let's get a great artifact or another, uh, or nothing. <laughs> Funny. I think I'll take Omen Speaker. I don't really want Abnormal Endurance. Omen Speaker can set up my, some of my synergies, help me find my demon. Yeah, I think I'm not going to play white for a trusty pack beast when I have a demon of catastrophes. Demon's just great. Um, Salvager doesn't really get anything back in my deck. Millstone's not what I want to be doing. Neither is Doom Dissenter. I guess I take another Field Creeper here. 
Yes, we did it. Skilled animator number two is perfect. It just gives us like a lot of draws where we go like field creepers, skilled animator rate, go to five, five. And that can just win us a lot of games. Perfect. I would play any number of skilled animator in this deck. That was a fist pump moment. Oh, I can get the frail sea serpent. Hmm. Scholar of the Stars is a nice card in this deck. I think I'm just gonna take it. Dwindle is fun is like a good card. Um maybe it's what I need, but uh, four mana three two draw a card is just great. I could just be mono blue. Just help my man out. I think Demon's really good though. Dwindle's a nice one too. I don't really have any interaction other than this exclusion mage. I think, yeah, maybe Scholar will be, I'm gonna take Dwindle. Taking Scholar there seems a bit cute. Take Skeleton Archer. Maybe not a Vampire Neonate deck because they're not going to have all that many black sources. Uh, might not be a Gearsmith Prodigy deck either, but maybe this is the deck for it. I could cut a Frilled Sea Serpent. What else? Um, I could play like one black card and have it just be this. Another Gearsmith Prodigy is nice. It's also good sacrificing a Sky Scanner. Uh, Gearsmith Guardian is great. I don't really want Bone Dash in this deck because I just been tapping out for stuff. Divination is not really what I want. I just want Gearsmith Guardian. It's another artifact. Eh, man, this is a great deck. Just a five mana five five is good. Add some other synergies. I think it's gonna be better than a Frilled Sea Serpent a lot of the time. Could just cut the gearsmiths. Yes! Skilled animator number three is huge. This card's gonna be like the best card in our deck. Got it as the last possible pick. Skull of the Stars is kind of a nice card in our deck too, but we'll probably get the other one back. Gearsmith Prodigy. Take Smelt. Cancel maybe. The other Scholar of the Stars isn't going to come back, I don't think. I doubt it will come back. I forget how many, which, I forget which pack it was in. Don't want to face a daybreak chaplain. Gearsmith Prodigy is probably bad. I could probably just get cut all three of those and then cut one more card. I just don't have, I have like three one power, two drops, 
the reason, real reason my two drops are good is because I have ways to make them five fives. Okay, so let's see. I don't really want the serpent. Don't want cancel. Don't want the prodigies. I could see siding the prodigies in, in an aggressive matchup and them being great. <sighs> I kind of just want to cut. Totally lost, but I need some interaction. I think I could, I could run that guy. I think I'm gonna run ten seven. I only need one blue for all of my cards. Okay. I could just go with 16 lands and go 10 and go seven for this is kind of risky, but I mean, I don't have to cast it on turn four. Hmm. Huh. Maybe I just cut the demon. Does make my mana a lot more clunky. Also, it's kind of cool to play mono blue. In draft, it's like kind of like the craziest thing. I don't know what three drop to cut. My pioneers are great. Dwindle's like my only interactive spell. I need to keep this guy to interact as well. I have my eye animators, my sentinel. Maybe I cut gargoyle sentinel for a gearsmith prodigy. Okay, let's see how this goes. We'll keep looking for skilled animator. Heck yeah. Let's go with Sky Scanner first. He's holding up a uh, Essence Scatter. Resolves immediately. He doesn't have Essence Scatter. Nice to know. But it is good to play around when we have like our best card, Skilled Animator. We could probably run 16 lands because one of the reasons you run 17 is so you have the adequate number of your colors. But here. Oh, yes. Gonna animate this guy scanner. And I have the backup animator. Or I can animate the diamond mare. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go down to 16 lands in this deck. I also have two sky scanners and an omen speaker to help me find lands. And then I could run a gearsmith prodigy or another artifact if I have one. Exclusion mage. Now he has to bounce my. Yeah. So I could go Sky Scanner or I could Skilled Animator up this guy, hit him for five again. I think I'm gonna Sky Scanner first. And I go with another Skilled Animator. Having this be flying is really good. This is so good. This is sick. This is so awesome. Field Creeper. Ah, oh, the Field Creeper. Probably gonna hold it in our hand because it's not a particularly effective attacker. Dwindle. Uh, 
okay. And for five, then develop our Gearsmith Guardian. No counter. We're gonna hold Field Creeper in case we draw our um our we don't we don't have any instants. Our only instant is in our hand, that's so funny. He's gonna go for the triple block. I literally don't have an instant in my deck, bud. Wrecked him. He knows my full deck list, though. <laughs> Destroyed! I basically won the game because he spent seven mana to do nothing. He spent seven mana to look at my deck. I can like totally lost Dwindle to the top of his deck if I want. Okay. He's definitely siding out the Chaos Wand. Exclusion Mage. I'll play one field creeper. I could potentially alpha him, like totally lost the dwindle, and then let's just caress on my three three. Nice. I mean on my one three. Definitely don't want to side into my black against this guy. Okay, play my other field creeper. Okay, that's interesting. So now he's at five, so I can, if he ever taps out, I can get rid of the dwindle. And kill him. Okay, let's just caress. Annoying. I think I can kill him next turn if I alpha. Because he has two block, because he can block block. Take two. So he probably has a spell. Serpent, I don't care. Get back the Lich's Caress again. This is six in the air. You just have to double block one of them and I win.
No, never mind. So here we go to one here. Rats. I need my third guy or I need my sigh or something. Hmm. Oh, man. So he has a legit caress as his last card. Rats! Nightmare's Thirst was a good one. He knows what's in my deck. Nice draw. I can put him to two. Dang it, if only his Lich's thing hadn't gained him six life and his Nightmares thing hadn't gained him five. He's, he knows exactly what I'm drawing each turn. He doesn't know what the totally lost though, because he never saw it. I shouldn't have played that land, I should have played around Mind Rot. So he has four blockers. He can go block, 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 block. And I know one of his cards is Lich's Caress. So let's just go for the win here. He didn't double block the one that hooked up to that artifact.
Yes. Okay, we got there. We're going to take out one land. Four. I'm back at it again, Mr. Momath. Back at it again. I uh, definitely don't want the demon against him because he's got all those bounce spells. Deer Smith is probably bad. I'll just bring in the six drop. Taking out a land for a six drop may seem weird, but my cards, I have an Omen Speaker, I have two Sky Scanners, I have a two Scholar of the Stars, so I'm drawing a lot of extra cards. I don't really want Gearsmith Prodigy. On the play, maybe. I'll keep this. He put me on the play. Interesting. Watch me draw the six drop when I really just need to land here. Come on, land. <sighs> Sky scanner. It resolves. Nice. There's the sea serpent. Hopefully he taps out. Perfect, now I can draw a card with my Scholar of the Stars. Could have gone for the Skilled Animator there, but I didn't really want to. Okay. Aviation Pioneer is nice. I'm not going to go run out my skilled animator into that open mana. I'm not a crazy person. Yeah, it's pretty sick, Mr. Momath. It was a sweet draft. Land. Empire Neonate. He doesn't have any counter spells that I saw in game one, so. Land. Oh, good oak. Nightmare's thirst doesn't kill that guy. He definitely messed that one up. That's good for me. Nice, some free value. Now I can go for my skilled animator play because he's got rid of his, his guy. I'm probably just gonna play Gearsmith Guardian though. Let's attack first. The small flyers are coming for you, opponent. Trying to take you down. Okay. I 
sure. Gearsmith Guardian's huge here. I also have Skilled Animator to make one of my guys big at one point. At some point. I'm going to play Omen Speaker so I can scry, and then probably Gargoyle Sentinel. Totally lost. Sure. Good thing I'm playing the scry card second. I'll draw a land. I think I'm going to go for my skilled animator here. Okay. Yeah, making my artifact, my guy big, seems good. Boy, can use strangling spores on it. I'm gonna target my sky scanner so if he does exclusion mage it, I can uh, draw another card. He does have disperse, so I did play it properly there. Surge Mare is fine. Just gonna sky scanner, then I'm gonna animate the gargoyle. Get in for four. I don't really want to exclusion mage something right now. Not really a value play. Okay, so he used his final card. He has nothing in his hand. And I have five cards in my hand. I'm in great shape. Real Serpent. And I'll bounce the Frilled Serpent. Nice tempo play. Okay, it's back. He concedes! Can't beat Mono Blue! That is the sickest thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god. <laughs> he concedes. Oh, that's hilarious. We're gonna cut a land for this thing. 16 lands is fine when you're a monocolored deck, because you're never gonna get color screwed, so you don't need as many color sources of each color. We also have two Sky Scanners, and an Omen Speaker, and two Scholar of the Stars to help us hit our expensive stuff. Wow, that was insane. He knew everything in our deck, too. Mulligan. We'll keep this hand, though. Hope we find a skilled animator. Ooh, put that Psy on top of the deck. 
Not gonna run out my explosive apparatus now, or my field creeper. I'm gonna wait till I get that side down and then do them both on the same turn. Ooh, Gearsmith Prodigy. I'll play Psy and then I'll play my two guys and get some synergy going. I'm play I'm paired up against a 2-0 player. That's unfortunate. Please resolve. Yes! That's clutch. Now I'm gonna get two more artifacts. Okay, dope. I'm just gonna do that before he can like find a way to kill side. Though blue white doesn't really have those. Maybe I should have just cast the aviation pioneer for mana efficiency. Aerial engineer. Okay, I'm gonna go with my skilled animator now. On to my thopter. Probably better to go aviation pioneer, so I'd have a. I still have a field creeper, but I like getting the flyers out. Dwindle, okay. Play my aviation pioneer. And I have my two Gearsmith Guardians in hand, so they're gonna be great with Psy as well. Whew. Need one more land. I think if I draw a land, I just am in great shape. Land me. That's not a land. That's the six drop I added instead of a land. I think it was correct though. Now I can just hold up explosive apparatus. And I have all the gas in the world. He's not pressuring me at all. You'll find an artifact eventually, but. Just go for it. Let's go. Mono blue, mono blue. He has nothing going on. Dwindle, he's dwindling my Thopter tokens. Mentor of the Meek, okay. I can explosive apparatus that, which I will do. Unless I can just kill him here. Okay, so let's see, if I attack with everything, he has one, two, three, four blockers. He blocks here, 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 here. He takes one, two, he doesn't die. Just gonna kill that mentor.
Mentor is a card that can get out of control, so don't want that to happen. I could use Psy to sacrifice both these dwindled thopters. But, oh yeah, he concedes! Blue too strong! Oh my god, mono blue. I'm going to bring in Gearsmith Prodigy for the Sea, sea Serpent against him, because he's a bit more of a tempo deck. He could have some bounce, maybe. Um, and yeah, that seems like all I want to do. <laughs> yes! Mono blue. This is the sickest deck ever. Whew. That, this is actually awesome. This guy's like, man, I lost to my opponent who was mana screwed. And I'm just like, nope. It's not mana screw. It's called drafting mono blue in M19. It's like, dang, my blue-white deck is so sick. And I'm like, my mono-blue deck is sicker. Guaranteed. You drafted a mono-red deck in Innistrad? That's cool. Best deck ever. Yeah, mono-colored decks in Limited are hilarious. I could, like, side into green just for Rex Sage. But at that point, what do I cut out? Take out. My deck's pretty synergistic. I know he has two dwindles. Best hand ever. Let's go. Field creeper into skilled animator. Let's go. He's on a mulligan. Oh, field creeper is OP. This is the greatest. Mono green eventide. Yeah, I know monocolor decks were a thing in like somewhere in Lorwyn. I need one land. Let's go. The Gearsmith Prodigy that is there instead of a land. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Oh man. My offensive has been blunted. Put one on top, one on the bottom. No, I need one more land. And then my deck just wins. Ah, come on deck. Don't fail me now. I probably have an 80% chance to hit three lands by turn three if I keep a two lander on the draw. Marauder's Axe, okay. Here's some, okay, Prodigy of his own. Give me a land so I can go Sky Scanner, please. He only has two cards left in his hand. <sighs> Maybe I'd animate, I'd probably animate her first, this Field Creeper. Land. Gosh darn it, deck. Gosh darn it, deck! Tarnation! Tarnation! I can miss the one land drop and then still be fine. Because what I'm doing is fundamentally not fair for three mana. You can attack me, I don't care. It means I can attack him back. I'll trade with my Gearsmith Prodigy. This gives me more time to draw land. Land. Let's go. We'll hit him for five. We have him on a four turn clock. He has us on a six turn clock. And also we're gonna be playing another sky scanner into another skilled animator.
Aviation Pioneer. Sure. I think we might hold back our Field Creeper now. Actually, there's no way. There's no way we're supposed to do that. He'll just hit us for three in the air. Hits us for three on the ground, we're fine. We can just skill the animator. Our one one flyer. Okay, he's jumping. That's lovely for me. I guess I could have attacked with skilled animator, but I didn't really want to put it tapped so it could die to attack vengeance. Dwindle, sure. Land. I have like infinite blockers on the ground for this this guy. I can just block with my dwindled creature. I should have attacked with skilled animator there. That was a bad play. I'm just so excited this deck is awesome. Patient rebuilding. Give me a land so I can put that on top of his deck, please. I'll take three. Two times one with the machine, that's kind of cool. Mm, I think I'm going to play Sentinel so I have another lethal flyer. And I can dwindle that. I dwindle that. Attack everything. Ooh, he goes to two life. This is the benefit of only, only having 16 lands. He draws one extra card. <laughs> Explosive apparatus would have killed him. <laughs> Dang. Sky scanner, okay. Okay, we got the game. We got the win. All we have to do is attack out. We have this line. Yes! Into the finals with Mono Blue! Mono Blue! Yes! Yes! It's working! It's working! Mono blue! Unbeatable! This deck is too strong! Whew, we could run a, I don't really want- I'd rather have the Serpent than this Gearsmith in the main. Oh my gosh, this is the greatest. Oh my gosh. Triple skilled animator. I got two of them in the last pack. I was like- I had one and I was like, any skilled animator is like the exact card I want. Man, I'm gonna get a glass of water while I- wait. <laughs> Ooh.
This is the greatest draft deck of my entire life, pretty much. This is exactly what I want to be doing. Six synergy. Like, I literally didn't hit my third land drop. And it didn't matter, because what I was doing should cost like 20, like, should cost like six mana, because I was making a 5-5. Five, five. Oh, man. Oh, man, this is great. Meet your maker, opponent. Prepare to meet your doom. Wait, is this Cory Burkhart? Oh my gosh. Keeping this hand. Okie doke. Let's go. He's also 2-0. Oh. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, he's playing a red deck. This Diamond Mare is going to do work. Diamond Mare on blue. All I need is a land now, and the skilled animator is going to town. Come on, land. Deck, don't fail me now. Hmm. Hey, Cornball. Doesn't matter, we can miss a land drop, we're still fine. We're playing against the Magic the Gathering Pro here. Hit him for five. If we draw another skilled animator, it'd be awesome. Fine with this trade. Sure. Play the Pioneer. I'll pass.
Okay, we'll trade that. Giant spider, okay. Oh, goodness. Seamus. Okay, so we can totally lost this. Or we could dwindle it. Creates a 5-5. Five, five. How many dragons do I think he has? I think I messed this up. I probably shouldn't have just used my skilled animator on to make my 2-1 two, 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 into a 5-5. Five, five. Six. He hits me for two. Doesn't want to use the ability. Elvis Rejuvenator. Sure. Another Onaka Ogre. I don't really care about those. Um, pass the turn. Interesting block attacks from him. Siege Breaker Giant, okay. Hmm. I may have messed this up. May or may not have messed this up. It's going to become a six. If he wants to pump it, he probably doesn't have enough for like a titanic growth. If his last card is titanic growth, then he's got me, I guess. I think he would have attacked with more stuff if he did have that. Yeah. Oh. Whoops. That was really bad. Whoopsie daisies. Hmm. 
I think I'm going to put this on my own library. And I can hit him for five, he blocks. Hit him for five, he blocks. He's drawing two cards a turn. Hmm. I'll just draw. Rats. Rats, rats, rats. Dang it, if I killed that Thorn Lieutenant, I'd be in great shape here. Or in fine shape. Huh. No, I'm not going to side in the blue one drops. He's just going to be able to stonewall me with stuff, I think. Oh my gosh, double thorn lieutenant, Jesus. I should have done this last turn. I have one a three turn clock. I think I can jump long enough to live here. Actually, he can just make two of my guys unable to block and completely wreck me. Then he can only attack with Siegebreaker Giant. And this guy can't really block. Yeah, we're gonna concede here. Okay, so we messed up against him. We could have, uh, should have made our guy bigger. Um. We could bring in cancel, but um, yeah, I think we're fine. We're just gonna run it back. Whew. Oh. Maybe I want the black card against him. Yeah, let's try this. I think the 6-6 six, six fly is going to be good against uh, red-green. Wait, why do I have 41 cards? Oh, I'm going to cut this. Ah! Keep. Uh, 
Okie doke. I think if we'd hit our third land drop that game, we would have crushed him. Not going to lie. He's a great guy. He seems great. Sigh into Sentinel, into Skilled Animator, on the Thopter that it makes, into Gearsmith Guardian is going to be great. Okay, here comes Psy. He's the Grixis guy. Yeah, that's what he is, Cornball. He's like the Grixis legend, dude. He's awesome. Okay, Onake Ogre probably. Oh, Colossal Majesty. I fear it will be too slow for you, opponent. Uh, Sky Scanner is going to be a little bit more aggressive. And then I can play Gears Myth Guardian into double spell. Okay, now we're going to animate two Thopters. Bash in. <laughs> that was absurd. Can't imagine he can do anything there. Yes! On to game three! Let's go! Ha <laughs> ha! We're in. We're almost there. We're gonna run it back. I like the seven swamp. We're siding in our Demon of Catastrophes. He had a clunky draw there. We're going to keep this hand, this hand is God tier. Whew, he probably brought in Smelt, to be quite honest. We're going to play our hmm, Psy, I think. Get some Thopter value rolling. We don't want to make our skill. We want to put the skilled animator things on flyers. 
Then we could go Sky Scanner into Gearsmith Guardian. Monster. It's evil. Not nice. Hmm. So he missed his third, fourth land drop, so let's try and punish him while he's mana screwed. Hopefully he doesn't have another rabid bite. We kind of baited that last one out. The Basilisk. Gonna tap for that. Okay, rejuvenators, fine. Get a land. Oh, great. I'll tell him that in a second. Okay, Siege Breaker Giant. That's fine. Draw a card, see what we get. He has to block here. He's, I think he's dead. Wow, this is like the greatest thing ever. Oh my gosh. Man, I meant, uh, it's like the pre con they give. Uh, man. Yes! Oh my gosh, we won! We played against Corey Burkhart and won! Oh my gosh, never regret going into the competitive queues. First day in the competitive queues, just cruising in with the like eight and one record. Like what the heck? This was the sickest deck of my life. What the heck? We played mono blue, mono blue, what? What? Mono blue, this is so great. Oh my gosh, trophy hype. I mean, what the heck? We played against Corey Burkhart in the finals. That's awesome. Jeez, okie doke. Well, let's do the YouTube wrap-up. Well, anyway, that is going to do it for this draft video. 
I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. This was super great. Um, if you did, be sure to click that thumbs up and subscribe to get updates for whenever I post new content. If you have any questions or comments about the draft or the gameplay or the build, be sure to leave those in the comments section down below, and I'll be happy to respond with my thoughts or answers. I mean, this was totally great. I mean, it's like everything you could ask for in a draft, so... Oh my gosh, I'm so happy right now. That's so great. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. If you would like to catch some of this awesome stream, awesome gameplay live on Twitch, you can find me on twitch.tv slash Nikolai Bolas. There will be a link to that in the description down below. Um, but yeah, that is going to do it for this draft video. We played that mono blue, played against Corey Burkhart. Life was great. Um, I know, toe-to-toe -to -toe with a pro and we came out on top. That was insane. We only lost one game and it was to Corey Burkhart. Oh my gosh. Oh man, this was a great draft. Oh man. I really hope you guys all enjoyed it as much as I did, and uh, yeah, I, will, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in my next video.